Well, the way things are going, we might be selling Frankie's free range crickets soon instead of Frankie's free range meat. And this is similar to those internet blackouts that never happened back around the election time. I also believe I spoke about this in a past video, but not as the main topic. Point is, the parasites in charge are fear-mongering yet more made-up nonsense to get people to believe it, so when they stage certain events, it's expected. To be clear, there's no such thing as solar flares, no proof whatsoever. They're going to use some type of satellite or energy weapon to create a flash of some sort, then hit the switch to turn the internet off. Uh, the Shield Channel, uh, Kurzgesagt, or however you say it, made a video about this a year ago. It's disgusting that science is just a bunch of paid off journalists or researchers, and then all of the social media shills spread it so that fiction becomes fact. Just like the you know what <coughs> is a perfect tool to control people. Stay locked up, it's for your own good. And, and the government sure does do a good job at playing stupid and pretending to be incompetent, yet people still listen to them. It, the gaslighting and tactics they use, psychological warfare, really do work. A solar flare is the hypothetical perfect tool to crash the economy, reset the currency system. These secret society psychopaths are rigging the stock market, the entire economy, and of course will pull out merely days before everything suddenly blacks out unexpectedly, the ultimate cash out. And what's interesting to me is you never hear about people making millions and tens of millions of dollars off of crypto because they're keeping their mouth shut so you don't go and hang them after all this shit goes out. Solar superstorm likely to hit the earth may cause global internet meltdown. A recent study has warned of a massive solar storm this year that might disrupt the communication services on earth even causing an internet apocalypse. According to the latest study by California University researcher, Sankida Abdujodi has warned about a massive solar storm in 2021 that may cause an internet apocalypse around the world. The papers presented at the SIGCOM 2021 suggested that the radiations blowing towards the Earth can affect the communication systems, including the underwater cable wires necessary for the Internet. Besides this, the predicted event might cause blackouts that can pause for several hours, if not days. In the research, Jody has warned that the current Internet in infrastructure is not prepared for the large-scale solar event with a limited understanding of what the extent of the damage would be. There's one problem with this. Energy is their secret weapon. It's why I wear a silver shirt and sleep in a metal box. Different radio frequencies they use to control and damage the masses through all devices, cell phones, routers, anything with Wi-Fi, especially cell towers. I don't believe there is any circumstance where they would deactivate these frequencies. Everyone would start feeling better, thinking clearly, sleeping properly, allowing increased intelligence, which would ultimately lead to realizing how they're being controlled, possibly a true rebellion. It's more likely that this would be a several day internet outage and the various devices will still be emitting high levels of radiation. If anything, they would turn up the cell towers just long enough to completely devastate the stock market, cryptocurrency, any sort of digital asset, and they'll probably stage some type of like issue where people lose money and then say, oh, well, come to our new gov coin. Our government coin is reliable, and even if this happens, don't worry, we'll make sure it's safe. I'm a smart NASA scientist, so you should listen to me. Just shy of 162 years ago, on the morning of September 1st, 1859, a hobbyist astronomer named Richard Carrington peered through his telescope and noted in the sky two patches of intensely bright and white light. 
Beyond Carrington's country estate, telegraphs were failing all over the world. In American cities that night, people strolled gazing at the sky in wonder. The northern heavens were perfectly illuminated, a New York Times reporter noted. This was what would later be dubbed the Carrington Event, a powerful geomagnetic storm which, in NASA's words, is arguably the greatest and most famous space weather event of the last 200 years. Occurring as it did in the rapidly modernizing 19th century, as opposed to the hyper-modernized 21st, its effects were mercifully limited. These days, we've gotten a whole lot more electricity flowing. Another Carrington event could be disastrous. Does that sound right? They were looking up at the sky in amazement. And since when does a hobbyist astronomer's word become fact scientific research? This is comedy. A second, third, fourth hand account of a 150 year old story talking about a bright light in the sky. If that doesn't convince you that this is nonsense, they're quoting NASA. Who knows what NASA is actually doing? Some say the money given to NASA goes to weather modification programs. Others say they're actually digging underground, ironically the opposite of space. I personally think uh, they're just building more elaborate marble saunas so they can play with themselves. Uh, once someone actually wakes up from the lies, it becomes painfully obvious just about every single thing we've been told our whole lives is fake. From history to space, everything treated as fact that most people cannot remove from their minds as the truth. And it's kind of crazy once you think about it. They program you for 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years to believe space is true and all this stuff just so they can stage one event when you're in your middle aged and you believe it. I mean, there's some very smart and evil people in charge, but uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.